horrific crash that claims the life of a woman just sitting on a bench waiting for her bus. Local 10 Cheyenne Malone live down from Lauder Hill with the latest on this investigation. Cheyenne. And that crash shutting down both lanes, northbound and southbound along State Road 7 and Northwest 12th Street for quite some time. In fact, you can still see the south lanes are opening back up. Let me show you a little bit of the scene. You can see some people here just congregating, waiting, wanting to know what happened here. This terrible accident taking this woman's life. I'll take you to some exclusive cell phone video capturing the aftermath of the scene. We blurred some of the images because they are too graphic to show. Police say two vehicles were driving erratically when this SUV ran off the road, struck a utility pole, and slammed into a woman who was sitting on a bus bench waiting for her ride. She was pinned between the bench and the car and died on the scene just after 12 o'clock this afternoon. Now, Sky 10 shows you the scene from above. Police say this chain reaction crash involving several vehicles. Now, one person even ejected from the car in this one. Several other pedestrians in the area who were nearby were also injured. One witness says that she didn't want to go on camera, but she was certainly stunned about what happened. When I came out, I just saw the, the body here, you know, pent, against the, pent up against the tree. And, you know, it just breaks my heart. And, you know, I just, I just would like to say if everybody, if a lot of people would slow down, everybody's in a rush, you know, because we have kids. Kids are out here every day, all day. Well, the woman's body is actually still out here on the scene. You can see pieces of debris left over from that accident. The seven other victims were taken to the hospital, area hospitals. They are all getting treated. We do not know their identities as of yet, but FPL is here on the scene. Why? Well, there is a utility pole involved in all this, so anytime that happens, that certainly creates some type of electrical hazard, according to authorities, so they are working hard. That's likely why that woman's body is still out here as well. As we get more details and information on this one, we'll get them to you. Reporting live from Lauder Hill, Cheyenne Malone, Local 10 News.